In this video, we'll work through a securitization problem just like we did in class. In this case, we have a company called Lynn, the Lynn Company. They issued $2.5 billion in five-year catastrophe bonds. They're offering a rate of 4.8% versus what they could get from treasuries, five-year treasuries of 2%. The bond has extremely important here, $900 million attachment point. So you're to calculate what the bondholders receive and what Lynn will pay under these three scenarios. So before we can do that, we've got to set up the trust. So the first step is to determine how much the trust needs to be able to pay off to bondholders in five years. So that is their 2.5 million, billion, 2.5 billion that they invest, and we're going to pay them 4.8%. So we do one plus 0 0.048 raised to the fifth power, and we get that we will need three billion. 160 million point four three in five years for them to be able to get that 4.8 percent return on their 2.5 billion now we're not going to invest at 4.8 percent we're going to invest at two percent because we need to invest in treasuries so how much do we need to invest today invest today at two percent so that we will have enough money at the end for the bondholders to get their 4.8 percent return so we take the amount we need at the end three billion one sixty point four three divided by one plus the treasury rate to 2% raised to the fifth power. So today we need to invest 2,862.5. So step three is to figure out the premium that Lynn will have to pay. Well, the trust is receiving 2.5 billion from the bondholders. They need to invest 2,862.5. So the difference is what Lynn will pay, 362.5. So on the first day, of the trust, they will have 2,862.5. That is 2.5 billion from the bond bondholders and 362.5 million from Lynn. And they're going to invest, invest that right away at 2%. So now we've got the trust set up. So let's look and see what happens at the end. If the loss is 550 million, since 550 million is less than the attachment point of 900 million, then the bondholders get their full 4.8%. There's no reason to do any calculations because we know that's going to be the case. Lynn will pay a premium of 362 million, as we just calculated. They will have losses of $550 million. So they will have a total payment out of 912 million point five. If there's a billion dollar loss, we know the trust started with 2 billion 862.5 but it's going to have to send 100 million of that to Lynn because $1 billion is greater than the attachment point by, by $100 million. So $1 billion is greater than the attachment point by 100 million. So the trust started with 2 billion, 862.5, pays out 100 million. Say so they only have 2 billion, 762.5 to invest today at five-year treasuries. So if they do that in five years, they will have that, that amount times one plus 0 0.02 raised to the fifth which means they will have 3 billion 050.02. So what is return for the bondholders? Well, you take the amount they ended up with, ending value, which is 3 billion 050.02. You divide that by the amount they originally invested, which is 2.5 billion. Raise that to the one over N, which is five years, one over five minus one. So they made 4.06, which is less than the 4.8 they originally were promised. So they had a slight loss, but it, I mean, a slight lower return than they expected, but not too bad. They didn't lose money in this scenario. What does Lynn pay? Lynn pays the $362.5 million uh, premium. They have a loss of a billion dollars. They receive $100 million from the trust, so they end up a net of $1,262.5. In the last scenario where we had this huge loss of $4 billion, in this case, the trust has to pay out everything because $4 billion minus the attachment point of $900 million is $3.1 billion, which is more than the entire amount the trust has. So their return for the bondholders, they lose everything, minus 100%. Lynn pays the premium, as before, 362.5. They have this $4 billion loss, but then they get everything the trust has. So they end up with a net payout of $1.5 billion. And you'll notice here the premium they paid essentially comes right back to them. They pay it into the trust, but then the trust pays everything it has, which includes the premium. If you want to double check the $1.5 billion, it's simply the $4 billion loss less everything the bondholders gave them, the $2.5 billion, and that gives them a net of $1.5 billion.